This is an update on Shiba Inu, which is uh, not looking too great along with the rest of the cryptocurrency uh, space. We were looking at uh, having a buying opportunity not that long ago. Uh, we had a big rally blow off top on October 27th that I was looking at as a large wave one. And we pulled back and I was looking for descent into this blue box into that 38.8, 38.2% retrace zone. And we had it, but then we haven't quite gotten back out of it. We kind of fell in that box. We've been meandering sideways for the most part ever since. And we actually broke down below that 38.2% retrace mark three times to be exact. Uh, if you recall, I had a blue pattern here, an alternate pattern. I took that off just because we had a lower low. So our purple primary pattern is looking at this whole descent as an A wave and this bounce to B wave, and then poten potentially a C wave down here. It's not clear which of these would be the bottom of your larger wave two. This is a classic double bottom, something that elioticians are not a big fan of because you can't always tell if this is a one, two setup or it's just a four or five of your preceding C wave. If we look at the closer picture, this is the linear chart. Uh, if you recall, we do have both of these using two hour intervals. The only difference is that one is linear, the other is logarithmic. In the case of SHIB, the log chart does seem to count better. So I like relying on that for the big picture. But on the small picture, zoomed up, you can kind of see how, uh, again, it, it looks a little bit more downward sloping than we did before. We have our A wave down, B wave bounce. And then if this really is a C wave, this could be kind of an ending diagonal situation. Of course, with an ending diagonal, you would expect a quick bullish reversal, but we're not quite seeing that yet. We had the semblance of a one, two setting up, but now we're falling again and we're, uh, I wouldn't say we've quite invalidated the wave two, the wave one yet, but this is a one, two in purple, but uh, it's getting pretty close. You can, in theory, retrace the 100% of your first wave. Uh, so we'd like, to we'd like to hold support. I would prefer not going any lower than we have gone. So that would put our support at 0. 0.000028 cents. Uh, or actually, that would be dollars, not cents. My bad. Uh, we, we got some supports below. Our 61, our 76.4% retrace would be a little lower than that, 0. 0.00002. We have a red line for the one-to-one -one relationship between this A wave and the C wave at 0. 0.000019. This is a little tricky because for our purple pattern to hold, uh, we need to see some bullish action immediately. So I'm going to go over the red pattern momentarily just to finish off the purple pattern. If we really are still bullish, then we would expect our first wave to hit the 0.3 to, to the 0 0.61 extensions of the larger one, two. So that would put us between 0 0.00008 and 0 0.00016. That could also be potentially the top of a fifth wave if this was a third wave. So this could be a three, four, potentially a five. If that happened, we'd have a sharp reversal. Right now, we're not thinking about that because clearly we need to get off the floor first. As for sentiment across the rest of the crypto space, I got a bunch of tickers here. Things are looking pretty bloody across the crypto space. As I've mentioned before, uh, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Filecoin, those all broke their lower lows uh, from the bullish pattern that we had developed over the past six months or so. So they've reset everything. Bitcoin and Ethereum are just barely holding on to their bullish patterns right now. So our alternate red pattern that we have across the cryptos is getting closer and closer to coming true. Uh, and I'll be continue to make updates on that. Check out my Bitcoin and Ethereum video that I did uh, just before this one, just to get some details. Probably going to release another one very soon, detailing what a crash setup may look like. Speaking of crash setups, we do have something developing here for SHIB. So when we look at this pattern, you do see that we have a alternate red. So this alternate red goes like this. So we're still looking at this whole thing as an A wave. Then we're looking at this as a B wave bounce. And then depending on how you interpret this, this could be the first wave and the second wave of our C wave. So C waves are always impulse waves. They have a five wave structure. So in this case, we would basically be looking at this as a first wave down. And depending on how you interpret, this could be a diagonal. Maybe it started up here. Maybe there's more to it than that but you typically have a five wave structure to a wave one, then you have a bounce in the wave two. Not the prettiest thing, this could easily be interpreted as an, interpreted as an impulse. The point is if we really do have a one, two set up in place, we should start seeing a drop start very soon for our third wave down. Then of course we'd see a fourth wave bounce and then eventually our bottom. Where would we bottom? Well, there's a couple of ways to figure that out. Typically uh, you take your one, two and you do a Fibonacci extension off that. 
the bottom would fall somewhere between the 1.618 and the 2.0 extensions. Worst case would be the 2.0 extension going down. That would put us at 0.000011. That'd be a 62% drop from where we are right now. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to be in the red, you don't want to bleed, if we break support, might be a good, good time to get out. What makes things tricky in, in this crypto is that it's not clear when the purple pattern is going to invalidate because we are looking at this being a wave two. So we could, in theory, have our wave two drop as far down as 0 0.000015, which is the bottom of this purple box, and could be a very healthy bullish, well, a, a healthy corrective wave down, which would set us up for a much bigger rally later. But in the process, you lose your shirt doing it. Of course, a lot of crypto guys will tell you, you know, if you don't sell, you don't lose. Up to you what your strategy is. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be watching Bitcoin and Ethereum. Like I said, they set the sentiment or they're the, the primary indicator of sentiment across the crypto sector. So if I see those breaking their supports, if I see a crash setup in either of those cryptos, I'll very likely be getting in altcoins because they could suck those down too. What do I mean by crash setup? I, I would want to see a five wave impulse down followed by a three wave impulse back, uh, corrective wave up. So a one wave and a two wave up. So far, we do in Bitcoin have something that looks quite ominous. So if I uh, zoom out a little bit, this could be interpreted as a five wave down. So, you know, it could be a, a one, two, three, four, five down. If that is the case, I'm going to zoom out just a bit. We might have some carnage up ahead, but typically you'll see a second wave bounce. So if this is the first wave down, you would probably see a second wave up. That would be a great, uh, great point for a, for a gentleman's exit. You can exit then if you are trying to dump cryptos, whatnot. So I'm watching Bitcoin and Ethereum like a hawk. Ethereum has a similar situation in place, a little messier, but uh, it's actually broken below some of its supports as well. So things are starting to swing in our favor. Until we invalidate a bullish pattern, it's valid. So at this point, so far, we're holding on to a bullish pattern. But we're getting very close to that 50-50 mark where it could go either way. I, I want to see a little bit more evidence that this red alt pattern is happening. And if I see something, I'll definitely be posting about it. I'll be posting videos, again, mainly on Bitcoin and Ethereum, but I'll be touching on altcoins as well. So if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that so you don't miss any of those, just so you'll know where we are, what the market context is. Uh, the silver lining is if we do follow the red pattern, there's going to be a hell of a buying opportunity up ahead a couple of weeks, maybe a few months down the road. So don't miss it. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like. And until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.